Namaskar my dear Cambridgeians I hope you all safe at your home and utilizing your time properly Today I'm going to start iterative statements in python Before starting this chapter let me tell you that iteration is nothing but repetition of a set of statements again and again in a program Iterative statements or loop statements allow us to execute a block of statements as long as the given condition is true Loop statements are used loop statements or iterative statements are used when we need to run a same code again and again each time with a different value that means it is going to make a cycle of the same set of statements but with a different input value let us understand this further there are two types of iterative statements in python first one is for loop and second one is while loop before starting actual python programming or understanding the syntax or the flow charts of these in python let us understand daily life example of these two four suppose someone is asking you to do this work for 10 times that means that person is going to decide that you have to repeat this task for the 10 times so four means number of iterations number of repetitions will be known before hand second on the other hand finish your science work while i am going to check your maths work that means the person is going to give you a condition that until and unless that person is going to evaluate your maths work you have to complete your science work so here number of iterations is not known beforehand but we have a condition which needs to be true when it will be true when the person will be checking the maths assignment right as soon as the person finishes correcting the assignment that this condition becomes false and the control will be transferred to the next statement that means that another it either it will come out of the loop or some other things will happen so in for and while loop the basic difference is the number of iterations known beforehand or not known beforehand now let us understand these two topics according to python language while loop in python while loop in python is used to execute a block of statement as long as the given condition is true and when the condition is false the control will come out of the loop this i told you before also condition is checked every time at the beginning of the loop but as soon as you come out of the loop these checking of the conditions and everything will be stopped and repetition will also be stopped let us see the flow chart of your while loop here the control is coming into your condition box here when the condition becomes true the block of statements are executed the result will be again fed into the condition box now it will be evaluated that whether the condition is true or false if it is again true then the control will come again to the block of statements and if the condition is false then it will exit the loop so this is the flow chart of your while loop in python now coming to the program this is a very small program this is very simple and easy to understand let us see x is equals to 0 that means we have decided that the value of variable x is 0 now assignment is done next while here this is the condition x is less than 5 print x now let us check 0 is less than 5 so we are going to put 0 in the output now x is equals to x plus 1 that means we are going to add 1 to the value of x x was 0 now 0 becomes 1 so 1 is less than 5 yes so we will print 1 also then 1 becomes 2 after x is equals to x plus 1 so this is how our loop will go on when the x becomes 4 after increment x is equals to 4 4 is less than 5 so we will print x that means it is 4 now 4 plus 1 is not less than 5 so the loop terminates now the output will be 0 1 2 3 4 while loop with else in python see the syntax 
in the previous condition we have not given any else part when the condition becomes false we have just terminated the loop we have not given any other condition which will be evaluated when the condition becomes false so in this case we are going to see the syntax for the while loop with else part syntax while condition and the loop statements else else statements let us see the example first x is equals to 1 while x is less than 5 print inside value of loop of x is x x is equals to x plus 1 else print inside else value of x is x now the same program was executed earlier also so the outputs will be 0 1 so oh, sorry the here the initial value is 1 so it will start from 1 2 3 4 but as soon as the condition becomes 5 let me tell you that the answer will become else part now inside else value of x will be 5 so these are the examples which will tell you that what happens when you include else part in your while loop now coming to infinite while loop see there are some conditions where a loop is going to execute a set of statement for infinite times an infinite loop is a loop in which condition always remains true for example let us see this program x is equals to 1 while x equals to 1 here let me tell you what is the difference between single equal and double equals to single equal means it is going to be an assignment operator that means right hand side value is being assigned to a variable which is on the left hand side but when you are going to evaluate the equal when you want to equate the two things then you have to put double equals to in your python language so now i'm going to check while x is double equals to 1 print hello so the value of x is 1 only and there is no increment also in the value and the condition is always true so there will be an infinite hello whatever you are going to print that will be printed for the infinite times so this is the example of your infinite while loop in python now this was all about your while loops coming to your for loop for loop in python is used to iterate over items for any sequence such as list or a string that means the number of iterations or the number of repetitions is known beforehand let us see the flow chart of your flow uh, this for loop the control is coming to the last item then if the condition if the thing is last that means like suppose um, in the uh, like in the starting i gave you this example that you have to do this particular task for the 10 times now if the control has gone to the last that means the 10th time is it, is it the last thing yes or no if no loop statements will go on like the same way and if yes if this is the last number of iteration then end for example um, the person is doing that thing for the 10 times now the mother asks for which time you are doing this work then the person replies fourth time so the loop will continue but if the mother asks uh, like are you doing this for the 10th time then the loop is going to be terminated all right so this was about this last item thing now let us see the syntax for the for loop for loop syntax for loop in sequence statements here we are going to check in in operator okay let us see with the program for i in range 1 to 5 print i that means here i am going to define a particular range of numbers 1 is the initial 5 is the last and the range will be 2 3 4 we have to print i you have to mind one thing here that whatever is the last value of your range you don't have to print that in your output the computer will not include the last thing in your output like here we will start our output from 1 then range will go to 2 3 4 but not 5 as 5 is the last of this range 
the range function in python the range function is a built in that is used to iterate over a sequence of numbers syntax means range there will be see whenever we are talking about functions we will always include that parenthesis will be followed the function name will be followed by a parenthesis all right so same thing applies here also range is a function so range parenthesis will start the first starting number the stop number now this is something new which i have not told you before this is step sometimes we want our output to be evaluated after each step like after a gap of 2 after a decrement or increment of any number right so let me explain the range function parameters here start starting number of a sequence stop generate numbers up to but do not include this number step optional this is optional if you want to use or not it determines the increment between each number it can be increment or it can be decrement between the numbers let us exam let us see with the help of examples here first program for i in range 5 print i we have discussed this now for here i have not decided the initial value of this particular range so we will start with 0 0 1 2 3 4 but 5 will not be included because 5 is the last now second program i am going to discuss for i in range 2 9 2 here the starting will be 2 the ending will be 9 and the increment how i came to know that this 2 is increment this 2 is increment because this 2 is a positive value suppose it was minus 2 then it will be termed as a decrement so the output will be 2 because it is the starting after a gap of two numbers we are going to print 4 then 6 and then 8 9 we don't have to calculate and uh, because of the condition of the increment of 2 by default 9 will not come so the output will stop at 8 now let us see the third program for i in range 10 0 and minus 2 in this program we have to decrement the values so we are going to start from 10 after 10 will come 8 6 4 2 but not 0 because 0 is the stop so now i think the range function is also clear to you range function is a part of your for function only range function will not come with while loop but will come only with for loop thank you i hope i was able to uh, explain every topic and every sub topic properly go through this video again and again go through the synopsis of this chapter for better understanding thank you namaskar